Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain, and today we're going to be talking about Byte SMS. Yes, it's been updated. We got the 8.0 version for iOS 7, and they've added a whole lot of awesome things I want to share with you. And I'm going to try to run through these as quick as I can to show you some of the best features that we can throw at you here just in the next couple minutes. All right, a few of the things that uh, it's known for is Quick Compose. You can reply and create a message no matter where you are inside of iOS. Back here at the Notification Center, you see down here at the bottom, I've got the little icon in the corner. Well, if I tap that, I don't know if I tap, there we go. You see it gets this little pop-up. Now, from here, we can do a number of things. If we want to take a picture, we can just simply tap the camera. If we want to insert a photo, we can tap the little camera looking that's turned around backwards. And if we want to do some more things, you know, I don't have any templates set up, but you can, you know, use templates if that's something you're into. And what I like best about this from here, you can look back at your conversation. It's a little finicky to touch. But if you see right up here at the top, you got a little pull, like a little drop, little like a little drop down menu here thing. It ain't a menu, but there we go. And it's a little bit hard to get a hold of, but once you get it going, it's there we go. Now you see it pops right out once you get it touched just correct way, which is what she said. But anyway, right here you also got a little thing down here at the bottom if you touch that it you can slide it back up out of the way that's cool if you want to see your conversation you know if you want to go back and look at something but that's just you know one of the awesome things that it does also uh another thing if you if you're getting in here and you turn the volume up or down you got this little ability to open it for right from your volume hood just tap the little volume hood thing it's got a little place in there where you can you can uh, open it up from there. Just overall, guys, this is an awesome application. It's probably the best, hands down, for quick reply, compose, any type of message that is. But now this uh, is a separate tweak. You see that I have my thing locked with the IOP lock, if you want to know what that is. If you want to include your last screenshot, if you're like me and do a lot of that, you know, well, First thing we should do probably is take a screenshot. So let's do that by holding home and there, there you go. And now when we open up our Byte SMS, and if we want to include that live screenshot, we can open our Byte SMS up. We hold the little camera that looks like it's turned around backwards. Just simply hold down on it just for a second. And you see we get the live screenshot. And if I wanted to send that, I could just tap send. It'd be on its way. Now, guys, if you're like me, it took me just a second to find some of the settings inside here. Uh, what you have to do is open up your little I Byte SMS icon and simply just go up here and tap settings. And in here, you can play around and fool around with all kinds of different things. Uh, one of the other things I love about this is the scheduled text. If like if you a birthday anniversary something like that you can put it in here and you just set it and forget it uh, and that way you don't forget to set, tell someone important happy birthday and it's a cool reminder to you too as well and you can add uh, signatures I mean guys are just a slew of things you can do in here contact photographs smileys you name it it's here go through these and look and check them out I know you'll really enjoy it. But there's just two or three awesome things I found in the new version 8. So I hope you really enjoyed the video. Please leave us a thumbs up. It shows us support. Share it on Facebook and Twitter. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you here. And keep coming back.